What's up guys? So YouTube channel today, Elk Shave. Here's what's going down. I'm gonna to talk to you about some vinyl harnesses. Been wearing a lot of different ones on these videos and getting a lot of comments. So finally, we're gonna sit down, break down all these new vinyl harnesses, give you the strengths and weaknesses and help you make your best decision for 2021. Let's go. Where there's a will, there's a way. Don't quit, I'm here to stay. First on my chest right now, this is from Vortex. You cannot buy this bino harness at the time of this recording. When you buy a pair of UHDs from Vortex, you get this bino harness included. I love this bino harness. Um, it, it rides up high, which I like. I don't like a beer belly bino harness down here sagging. Some people do, that's cool, not me. I want it right here. And then I can just slide this over, pull up my glass, put back in, and I'm on my way. What I did as far as tweaking with this is I put an ADAC rangefinder on the side. So this is an ADAC rangefinder holder, and then I got it strapped in with the UHD 4000. And this system's worked good for me. This little paracord is just an insurance policy that this doesn't come off. So this is that vinyl harness. I would say anytime I put wind indicator in here, like wind indicators, you pull those out the sides. I always seem to have those pop out on these for whatever reason, so I don't like that. I just found chapstick, that is awesome. I've been I'm a chapstick guy, I always have chapstick with me, but this has been my go-to. I even got like uh, some mule deer blood on here. Check this out, Tim. These are awesome, but a lot of debris does get inside and it is very boxy. So if you have smaller 10 by 42s or uh, I don't know, these probably won't work for you. Plus you can't get them unless you buy the UHDs. So that might put some of you out. But if you end up investing in Vortex UHDs, which have the VIP warranty, so, and that's transferable. So if you bought it used from somebody, that VIP warranty follows you. Super cool Vortex, I love it. But I did start uh, dabbling with the uh, Numas and Marsupials, so let me show you those next. This is Numas vinyl harness. I do like it, I am a fan. It's easy to get on and off, it's easy to adjust. There's a couple things that uh, I love about it and maybe one or two things I don't. But these are all magnets, so it's super quiet. And this is where you can put your range finder and you can take them on or off if you want. You can see where it sits just a little lower than, for, for some reason, I just like it a little higher. I will say, I, this is a pair of 10 by 42 razors. You can get them in there. You notice I don't have these. This little part, I wish it was clips so you could like clip in, clip out, unbuckle. It, it's the metal ring that you kind of have to get in on the vinyl. So I don't like that. I guess I could take, parts from other and put them on here, but I wish these were clip in, clip out, and they do sit a little lower, but all in all, super quiet. Doesn't make too much noise. Uh, Whitetail hunting though, if it's hard to describe, but if you're in a tree stand trying to be really, really quiet, this can be a little noisy getting this out. So I don't think I would use this for whitetail hunting, but out west, it's a great setup. I do have a discount code for NUMA. Check out the uh, video description if you want to peep this, but this is a good option. Uh, we did a video, I'll put a link right here, and we covered Alaska Guide Creations, we covered ADAC and one other brand, and those are all good as well, but I'm really fussy on vinyl harnesses, and I finally got to get my hands on Marsupial. So this is the Marsupial. I just got it recently. It's fairly new to me. I like where it sits. I know that's probably not as important to some people, but I like a vinyl harness that sits right here when I'm at full draw. As far as getting the vinyls out, I have to go here. Not bad, you can set it down. It's got the clips like I was talking about with the Numa, I wish the Numa one did. So if you don't want your vinyls clipped in, you're here for whatever reason. The way this is designed, you're not gonna get a lot of brush and debris into the pouch, which is awesome. It is magnetic, it's super quiet. It holds this a lot easier and it's not gonna come out. You can put on both sides. Vinyl harness is right here. This is also marsupial, magnetic, quiet. This little guy, sometimes I put my Allens right here if I'm at the range. Let's see if I put anything in here yet. It needs chapstick, but it's got, like you can put extra bullets or whatever if you're a rifle hunter. It's a good vinyl harness. We'll drop right here as far as the specs, which model, 
which color, which size, all the things you need to know from marsupial, but it is made in America and it is shipped out of, I believe, Colorado. No, Arizona. These are not easy to fit. These are like, these are 10 by 42 UHDs, but these are bigger than say, look at the razors. So these are both. So this is a 10 by 42 razor and this is the UHDs. They are much bigger. Bino. And so when I made my order with marsupial, I told them these exact specs on this. I said, I'm using the Vortex UHDs. They picked the one, got it set up, rock and roll. My first impression is I love it. I like that it's all adjustable. If you want it to ride down lower or higher, great. It's fairly quiet. It's durable, uh, super professional. I know it's made in America. I know it's a small business, direct to consumer, all good things. So you might want to check out marsupial. Not one bad option has been showcased to you today. Now we're going to have Tim come on here and show you his marsupial. He has been running it longer than I have and in the field. I have not hunted with this yet. Just know that I haven't tested it yet, but that's coming up at bear season just around the corner. The one thing that I like a little bit better about the Vortex one is the top part just goes right here. Whereas this, I have to take it all the way open. And that's not a big, not really. There's not really a magnet on the bottom that I can see. So I, it's not a huge deal, but I can just pop that back on. So for quick glassing, for as this, I kind of have a flap. And so it'd be cool if I could just slide it off, but some people probably like this and I don't mind it at all. It's just one thing I noticed. All these companies are awesome. Don't really have like, um, you gotta get this or that. I just wanted to show you the ins and outs of this one and go from there. All right guys, what's up? Tim Connor here. And this is actually a part of gear that I really dig. So Marsupial Gear, I really believe in them as a company. I think they've done a really nice job. I think whoever does their design work understands simple, functional, and effective. And that's what I think this Bino harness was. So Dan's always trying out different Bino harnesses. I found a good one and I've stuck with it. I think he's gonna settle on this, but these are two different models here and they still make two different models. Basically, you can see here that one of them is totally enclosed, the other is not. So if you're a North Idaho guy and you wanna totally protect your gear, this is the model you wanna be using. If you're an open plains kind of guy, a New Mexico kind of guy, you don't need these to be fully uncovered. And honestly, I've hunted the thickets too, and I'll get some stuff in the bottom of this. Like I'll probably shake some stuff out, but it keeps my bino safe and that's all I can ask. I like this model because it's simple. Everything is simple and it's right here. I'll put it on real quick. And here's kind of like my design design criteria. If I was gonna be a product designer, I would, I would try to be an iPhone. I would try to be so simple that your grandpa could use it, but still have the features. And in the Bino harness world, to me, this is like, this is the best I've seen. And that's just my opinion, but Everything is here, these clip in, they clip out. Most of the time I'm running my binos like this. They're clipped in, they're not going anywhere. If the weather's harsh, there I am. There is like some stuff up here. I keep like old tags, turkey calls for Dirk. I hear that turkey call. Tur oh, turkey call on a Maverick. Let's see it. <laughs> that would totally call on a turkey. Dirk, shout out to Dirk for making a cool product. This will also call an elk. I just keep little it's and bitch stashed in the front, rangefinder on the side. I will say one pro tip here on this particular rangefinder, I guess it depends on the rangefinder you're using, but I would wanna have reps pulling this out. This year in South Dakota, I had a quick opportunity at a mule deer and I was kind of stuck doing this. Like I wasn't getting my stuff out as fast as I should. Whatever you're using, make sure you can get it out quickly if you need to. I keep it on a little string. So typically if I'm going in on a stock or something, it just sits here and I can shoot, I can pull it out, I can range. I think there's some other features they've added. Basically you can rig these things out however you want to rig them out. Um, one thing Dan didn't talk about that's actually pretty cool is this whole chest fly on pops. And they make another product called the Joey Pack. And the Joey Pack is pretty dope. Like. For somebody who's a fly fisherman, that's me, it's great. For somebody who's going hiking, maybe pick a morel, shed hunting, whatever, or you want your binos, you don't want your binos. If you don't want your binos, that Joey pack is really cool. It's just small, it's right here, it's compact, and uh, I dig it. Shout out to Marsupial for making a cool product. I don't think there's a bad choice on the table. Obviously, this is a tough one to get. 
Numa's a new sponsor of Nans. They're a great company. Check out, support them if you can. Marsupial, dig it. Simple, works well. I'd like to check out more of their products. Thanks so much for hanging out with us, guys. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Give the video a thumbs up. That stuff actually helps. And uh, we will catch you back here for the next one.